Hello everybody, here's Sashnado, and here is the second part in a new series of mine about the world's greatest chess junior talents. And I'm now making a video on the world number 9 junior on the FIDE uh, rating, junior rating list of th November 2010. And number nine on that list is uh, Wesley So from the Philippines. Um, so uh, he's one of the youngest GMs in the history of chess. He became GM when he was only 14 years old. He became Philippine national champion when he was only 12 uh, years old. He already defeated some strong super GMs like Ivanchuk and Kemski, uh, which uh, he defeated at the World Cup where he played uh, a very strong tournament but eventually he uh, lost uh, at which says against uh, Malakov from Russia. He also won uh, the Corsi group in 2009 which was uh, quite a strong uh, field and now I'm going to analyze a game against Tiger Hill of Persian um, from Sweden. I played at the C uh, Chorus C group and this was a decisive game for him to win the Chorus C group in 2009 because uh, Tiger Hill of Persian was leading the group and this is a game from uh, the 12th round if I'm right and um, Tiger Hill of Persian at that moment was a uh, leading group but here Wesley so defeated Tiger Hill of Persian and because of his win against Tiger he, he uh, won the Pro C group and uh, Tiger Hill of Persian started with D4 and Wesley so played D5 he entered the Slav defense and now he decides to play the quiet soft with a6 after bishop d3, bishop g4 being the knight and now queen b3 and um, bishop g4 is quite is a good move because um, black is putting all his pawns on white and eventually maybe e6 and if you have all your pawns on white your white squared bishop hasn't very much space to move and that's why he gets it out of this chain here and uh, pins this knight maybe eventually exchanges for the knight but white now sees of course that uh, when the bishop is gone b7 is undefended so he attacks it, he attacks it. and now so decides to exchange his bishop for the knight giving away the bishop pair but now there's this um, double pawn a double pawn on the f -L. And now, uh, so as to do something about his b-pawn attack. And he plays uh, queen c7. After knight c3, he plays e6. So now all his pawns are on white. And a4. And a4, of course, stops b5. But it also weakens his b-pawn. And he also puts another pawn on white. And now this bishop has a lot of space and aims at a lot of fields. Knight d7, c takes, c takes. And now a5. And now this b pawn looks very weak because it can't move away because then of course it will be taken by this a pawn so a lot of so white is 
going to put a lot of pressure on that uh, a, a B pawn. And now knight b8 is, is a very strange looking move. Placing it back on b8. But so see she made a little uh, mistake because the knight is stronger on c6. So he moves it back and now gets it on c6. And of, um, now Black doesn't threaten, of course, to take on a5, was now king e2 by person getting this uh, rook defending each other. And now, so pawn couldn't take, can't take because of then knight b5. Taking the queen, a takes, queen takes check, and now bishop takes a5, and this is bad for white. As we see, uh, white is uh, good, to is uh, well developed, and there's an, uh, is the black queen is attacked, and the knight is pinned, so definitely, definitely uh, there is an edge for white. King e2, and now bishop g6 attacking h2, knight a4, and now black castle. Now queen b6, and though this move is understandable, it's not the best move, but of course, the uh, tiger the person would have been happy to play a draw against So, because he was leading the group and with a draw he would have still be first in the group and uh, probably won the group and that's why he wanted to exchange queens because then a draw is more likely to happen but So doesn't want to exchange queens so wants to uh, go for a win and now we see this queen is on the same file as the king and this is going to be decisive because of the knight c5 rook b8 defending the pawn now f4 bishop moves back to c7 attacking the queen which moves back to b3 and now brilliant move by so so stop the video and try to find it it's a very beautiful move by so the move is bishop takes f4 because after e takes we get knight e4 and the king is in check and the queen is attacked so this bishop can't be taken and that's why the uh, person played bishop, uh, a queen c3 and now e5 trying to open up lines to the central king and now knight b3 and this is a very big blunder because after rook c8 d takes e bishop takes queen has to move it goes to c5 Again, wanting to trade queens, but now so comes with a decisive move, a really strong move. Try to to find it. Stop the video and try to find it. Because if you move, uh, if you can find this move, then you're you're very good at chess tactics. The crushing move by Wesley So is knight d4 check. And now the king is in check, and the queen is attacked by the rook on c8. If knight takes, then just rook takes c5. If e takes, then bishop d6 check, and then the queen will fall. That's why a tiger person played d the queen takes d4.
giving the queen. And now bishop takes d4. Knight takes. Then knight e4. G uh, getting rid of the white bishop pair. Rook g1, g6. And now bishop takes. D takes. H4. And rook c4. Bishop c3 defending the knight and now rook takes c3. Good move because now he gives the um, rook for the bishop but these pawns now from white become very weak. Queen c7 attacking the first pawn. King f1 trying to get away with his king. And queen takes a5 h5 and now queen a1 and getting another pawn so already two pawns and a knight for the rook he gave uh, for it h takes f takes rook h4 rook b1 and rook b1 b5 now he's going to walk with the pawns and now queen c5 after rook c1 queen g5 check king f1 Rook f8, getting on the same file as the king. After rook h2, queen takes e3. Very strong move. Attacking this rook, attacking the knight. What if rook d1? But then we just have queen f4, attacking the rook. When the rook moves away, we have this nasty e3 coming. Just attacking this king. And taking this knight and that's why um, white now resigned Wesley so won the game and he uh, won the C group so very strong player as said he's still 16 years old already in the 2600 and one of the best junior players in the whole world I hope you like this video any comments or questions on YouTube 